Yo, what's going on, guys? Nate with Dragon Ball. Not Nate. Not Nate, guys. Not Nate. It's James. That's right. James here. Uh, guys, welcome to night's stream. Of course, it is a night stream. I am here. We are going to be doing this stream right here. Uh, we got a few on-hand products that we're going to be showing you, but we're going to be doing this show and having some fun. Now, of course, you may see that there is a deal to be claimed for a certain product, and we'll actually talk about that, pro that product as we get going through this stream. Now, guys, with that, I want to hope you guys are all having a great start to your week. That's right. It's a start to your week for some of us. For the rest of us, the week couldn't come to an end quick enough. I don't know. Hey, Ship Roman. How you doing, buddy? How are you doing, my man? What's up there, buddy? Anything good? Hey, Phil. What's up, buddy? Oh, uh, yep. James is here, kind of. Well, let's be honest. James is kind of here. Uh, he's he may be here physically, mentally, he's somewhere else. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to start this show off with a cool little handheld video game. Uh, this is just a little retro style, preloaded video game. Now, it does come in multiple colors, but we do have, of course, this blue variation right here. It does have that 3-inch LCD screen that is actually quite bright for an LCD screen of this size of this type of product. Now, 218 retro video games built into this. About six hours of battery life does come with the USB to USB-C charging, actually USB to micro USB charging cable. Uh, it does come with that cable. It also comes with a slight instruction manual. The instruction manual tells you guys how to go into the menu, but also tells you how to play to uh, play Sudoku if you guys want. Now, you have English, of course, and you have the other language uh, with that. Now, on this, you have 218 games that you guys can just slide through. Now, there are multiple, of course, Sudokus with that, of course, um, which is kind of cool. But you also have, like, this little fish pond game uh, with that one. And we can actually pick that and turn it on. And you guys can see right there. It's actually not bad graphics for a little handheld video game uh, for that. Now, of course, we're going to start this game. You guys are going to see right there is that little fish. Uh, the game, of course, is just to eat uh, fish that are smaller than you uh, or not get eaten at all. And you'll just bounce around and pop up and throughout that. Now, it's actually kind of cool. It does have, of course, sound. It's also got a 3.5, so you can plug in a headphone jack. Uh, it's got a power on and off, so if I want to shut it off, just hit that switch and turn it off, uh, which is kind of cool with this. Now, 218 retro games. Now, I'm going to... I'm always honest with you guys. To me, these may not be like true full-on retro games to a lot of you, but some of you may remember a bunch of these games. Now, there are a bunch of different like learning games like the Air War and Air Hockey. Uh, there's, of course, like Montezuma. Uh, I'm sure guys know Montezuma. That's the little Jewel Quest game. Uh, that is definitely one of those little retro games. Uh, they're actually kind of cool to play. Uh, just right there, you guys will figure out your pattern, and you'll figure out how to, of course, pop and switch, and you'll pick the one you want to pop and do, of course, with that, and then you'll, of course, get that to start moving, and so on and so on, which is kind of cool. Uh, great little game, nice little bright screen. Uh, it's definitely got a bunch of different games throughout this, if you guys want. Now, there are other buttons. It's got the full A, B, select, starts, everything you need, plus your thumb pads on this to get going on the back is going to be your battery tray you guys pop it open and you're greeted with of course a removable battery now the removable battery is kind of cool because yes technically guys you can find another little battery like this and actually it looks like it's a bl-5c battery almost like uh your old nokia phones like your skinnier nokia phones or your slide phones so it does have that now with that that's kind of cool because then you can have a backup battery with this on hand and not have to worry about it. Now, with it, of course, you got multiple, multiple games uh, for this. Now, we, of course, like 218 games, it's just a lot of games to go through. But it also has Dinosaur Wars, if you guys really want with that. So, cool little piece. Uh, great little price point. Nice little option for those. Uh, if you guys want a little retro game. Uh, I believe that's Mrs. Dragon Blogger in chat. How are you doing? Sheila, hello. How are you doing? Bubberman, what's up? What's up, my guys? What's up? How's everybody doing? So that, of course, is a little mini handheld retro game. 
So that's where we're starting with this show. What do you think about that? Um, I believe we're going to be moving over to some little kids walkie talkies. Now, these are actually kind of cool because they do have a two mile long range with this. 22 channels of, of course, channels that you guys can swap over to. This is the size of the pack. It's like literally no bigger than my hand. Inside this, you're going to be greeted with, of course, all the pieces that you want, including, and I'm going to say it again, the BL5C batteries. So the walkie-talkie batteries can actually go into that handheld console. So you get two of those batteries. You're going to get the charging cable. It's going to be USB to USB-C charging cable, and you're going to get two walkie-talkies. Now, the walkie-talkies are, of course, still wrapped up. Uh, with this, you're going to have one pinkish one and one lime green or teal green with this. You're going to have, of course, the talk button. You're going to have, I believe it's uh, 10 different call tones with this on hand. Now, you do have to, of course, add the battery. So you're going to have to pop that off, slide the battery in here just like that. Then you're going to slide, of course, this back in and connect it up. I'm not putting the battery in both of these. I don't need the crosstalk to be going while we're talking or showing these. Now, two packs. These are going to be great for most ages, anywhere three and up with that 22 channels. Uh, each channel is going to have approximately uh, multiple different codes with that. You do have a menu button, guys. You can hit the menu button. Inside the menu button, it's going to allow us to change our channels and, of course, turn it off and on channels with that. Now, it also has what's kind of cool is a little flashlight. You also have a 3.5 little jack up there uh, to connect up like uh, walkie-talkies. Now, you also have volume up and down with that. Just press and talk and out all those other cool things. Now, we can get into it. Like I said, two-mile range, HD speaker, full display, rechargeable batteries, multiple colors of ranging, uh, low battery monitor light. It's got an auto squelch pad. It's got keypad tones. You can turn those keypad tones on if you or off if you want. One sec, everybody. I do apologize. It's that time of year where allergies are going to start messing with me. Now, rechargeable. Usable flashlight stays on, you turn it off and turn it on brightness or power it off. That's up to you with these. Multicolors. The multicolors is kind of cool because then kids don't have to fight over it. The 1200 milliamp battery is going to actually last for about 100 hours of standby time. You're not going to get that in usage time. That's standby time, right? Real time is going to depend on the volume, how much flashlight, and how many times it's actually pressed uh, with that. Uh, this is going to be great for kids that are like, let's say, like want to do walkie-talkies. It'll be even great if you guys are out hiking, so maybe the kids wander off a little farther. You can walkie-talkie out to them. Uh, camping trips or anything else in between. This is kind of cool. Great little piece, multiple batteries, of course, and a charging cable uh, with that, guys. Nice little piece, of course, from Pock Pal, uh, the Pock Pal place, uh, of course, to please. Uh, Antonio, thank you for the follow. Any questions about those guys? Ask up. I'm just going to sit here and start sneezing up a storm. Shouldn't be sneezing like I am. Just saying it now. Uh, the one thing I did not see in this is definitely there's no instruction manual. Sad. Sad. No instruction manual. Uh, you guys want to see a Tater Nate video? Really close to this thing. All right, we're going to move over to the MediQuest 3. Uh, this is the 128 gigabyte version. Of course, this is a mixed virtual reality headset uh, that little Nathaniel did for us. Now, I'm not sure why. What is going on here? Uh, bear with me, everybody. We have a big snafu of what's going on here, and I'm not sure what's really going on. Let's see this again. Uh, that's definitely it, but that is not what I want. That is what I want right there. Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today we're going to be taking a look at the MetaQuest 3. So the MetaQuest hey, 3 does a lot of things that the prior Quest just didn't do. First of all, full color 
augmented reality is one of my favorite features of this you can see that you can just drag these screens around with you around the house and they stay put wherever you put them you have full hand control gestures right here so you can see no, that you no, just no, kind no, of swipe didn't. between these and the track I'm having on your off hands week, because buddy. the quest really 3 has week. more sensors and cameras <laughs> is just so much better you can see how responsive it is to me actually moving my hands and even though you might look a little bit silly in real life just kind of moving imaginary things the tracking inside of the vr headset is incredibly cool it's good enough to where you can actually just do day-to-day -day operations or tasks such as right here i'm setting up my camera to actually film this video but i've seen videos online of people cooking while watching youtube videos having yeah, videos up in that. the background don't think i would know, do that talking to people in vr it's just really cool the things that you're able to do with this and one of the best things about this being that these sensors are so dang good it automatically maps out your room and then there's even a feature once it that maps, maps out your room that you can add furniture into your room and so that way once it adds that furniture into your now you also could travel around the world guys you guys could see paris france you guys could do video games and all of the other cool stuff now mapping out your house and everything is really cool because then it learns it and keep track of it but remember guys our houses are always changing around with what we move around our stuff now i could honestly say that about my house because there's always so much stuff coming and going that it may or may not end up in different positions. Now, like I said, you guys can play video games with this. That's actually kind of cool, like Beat Saber and all of the other really cool stuff. Uh, I think Beat Saber, but lots of virtual reality games that can be done with this. Right here, he's showing you guys the augment reality of uh, shooting aliens. Now he's going to box it out with this guy. Of course, Nate's going to lose because, well, let's be honest, he doesn't know how to keep his uh, his hands up to block punches. I'm just saying that he might get winded. Where is Nate? Come on, Nate. You popped up last time when I was talking about you, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, he, he can't even hold hands. Ah, uh, cool little piece. Virtual reality definitely has its place uh, for sure in this world. Now, MetaQuest 3, actually pretty cool price, about $4.99 right there. Now, for those of you that maybe want to get a better HDMI cable, we can actually talk about this next one. This is from Lumi, uh, Lumi Speed. This is actually going to be an 8K fiber optic HDMI cable. That's going to do about 30 feet of connectability at 48 gigabytes of ultra high speed uh, connection. Now, we're going to get into this. We're going to show you guys this. I have yet to open the box whatsoever with this one. Now, it can do 8K at 60 hertz or it can do 4K at 120 hertz. When you get it, it's going to be in a box like this, and it's for a reason, guys. It is fiber optic. Fiber optic is, that means it's a glass cable. If you bend this improperly, you can break the cable. You do not want to break the cable because then once you break the cable, the cable is no good. Uh, for the inside here, it's going to come packaged. Well, that's what my package looks like. Yours may be inserted, but it should be a big deal. Once we pop it up, we're going to be greeted with the actual full-on cable that's going to be wrapped up. You do have a left and right side. They are both the same color. You're going to pop the top off, and you're going to be greeted with, of course, that gold-plated tip or end. Now, with it, of course, you can only plug it in one way to show you guys how to do that with this. Now, nice long cable does have with Velcro straps and multi spots for you. Uh, it's going to allow you to do 8K, of course, uh, with fiber optic connection. It's going to do dynamic HDR. It's also going to allow you about 48 gigabytes of transfer rate or data transfer through this. It does support 3D connectability with that as well. Now, the connectability also is going to allow for what's called eARC ARC with the, uh, I'm going to say it's the high quality audio transmission with the Atmos enhanced audio, you know, uh, yeah, forget the other word for that one. But it's pretty much eARC ARC. Uh, eARC ARC is going to allow for about 32 audio channels uh, through that about 1500 uh, kilohertz sample rate. And it's going to allow for 7.1 to 5.1 surround sound sound. Now, DTS and DTS HD and X, uh, of course, is going to allow for that great video and sound with that as well. Now, this is compatible with, let's say, your PS5, your PCs, your TVs, your movie theaters, and your home theaters, even projectors and everything. It's literally an HDMI plug. Any HDMI plug, you can plug this in. Uh, but the better the plug, the better the transfer rate that's going to happen through this. 
Nice long cable, great little piece. Uh, it does have, of course, what's called a silicone fish shake uh, right here. And that's kind of be like your little fishy in the uh, docile fin with this. Uh, cool little piece. I like fiber optic cables. Now, the cable is going to be multi-core style. It does have an insert of a four-core fiber. It also has aluminum foil shield. It's got like naturally rubber aluminum alloys built in between each thread of this uh, on hand as well. Nice and flexible. Now, yes, you can bend this to a point, but I'm going to tell you, don't bend it completely half. You do not want to break the cable. Uh, it's fiber optic, guys. So, you know, fiber optic is just one of those things. Uh, glass connections are just finicky. So, cool little cable from Lumi Speed, guys, right there. Definitely worth checking out. Oh, uh, just a little cooked. Ah, uh, definitely, same. Uh, we're cooked. Well, what did we cook? Anything good? I'm pretty sure she meant she's really tired, but I'm going to go with she's cooked and she's cooked us all food. Please tell me what food you cooked us. She didn't make us nothing. She's mean. Oh. Not the other way. Oh man, well, what's up with that? All right, we're going to move over to the Alvia laptop screen extender that I'm not sure who actually did this video. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up this well, triple monitor. Should have known system. it was Phil. First of all, just check your laptop and make sure you have. Oh, knuckle yep. sandwich? You like knuckle sandwiches, do you? All right, guys, 14-inch dual monitor screen that's going to connect up to your 13 to 17-inch laptops. Now, of course, you can't see the video yet because I have yet to swap it over, but right here you're going to see this. Now, this is a plug-and-play with Type-C to HDMI connection. Uh, it also has a USB-A for Windows, Mac, and Chromebooks as well on top of that. Now, with this, there's a $40 clippable coupon as well. It does have a case for carrying it around to cold on the cables, but also has a stand on the back to set it up so it does not get top heavy when you connect these monitors up to your laptop. Now, with that, you're going to have 14 inch uh, IPS display panels on each side that are going to do 1920 by 1080p at full HD at 300 nits brightness. Now, it is a hundred, or actually, it's not a hundred. It's a 1,000 to 1 contrast ratio, 16.7 million color display colors built into this. Now, with it, of course, guys, that means you're going to have, of course, connectability. The even cooler part is, is you're going to have speaker 1 and speaker 2 on each of the actual monitors. So you do have dual speakers. Multiple connection ways. Three Type-C ports. Uh, depending on the way you use those Type-C ports, you can either use like a Type-C to HDMI, Type-C to USB-A, or uh, like a, a HDMI to a USB-A as well. Vice versa and for, uh, for, you know, you know that word I'm going for. It's going to be one of these days where I cannot speak English and it's going to be a bad one. No, not really. Now, remember, guys, it is only 60 hertz. You're not getting 120 hertz gaming monitor, but you do get 60 hertz, which will game perfectly fine. Uh, I did it for many, many years without having to have high hertz, of course. Now, connect it up to pretty much any laptop that is, of course, 13-inch to 17-inch, and you're good to go. It's a great little piece. Awesome little option right there that Phil is just showing you guys connecting it up. I'm going to show you guys how to set up monitor one, monitor two, or monitor three. You guys could also just duplicate the same monitor if you really wanted to, or separate them as well. Separating it is definitely probably the way to go, because then you guys could do, of course, the usability without having to use that, and multitask on different screens. Now, of course, he has to be happening to show me on screen in the middle, which should scare everybody on hand anyways. Uh-huh. Yeah, scare me. It's scary. Now, I believe we're going to be moving over to a little mini computer from GCOM. Uh, we are, we are. A GCOM little mini computer is actually a product I did. Now, you guys like little mini laptops or mini computers? Well, this one actually packs quite a bit. Now, with that, I'm going to jump over here, and we're actually going to stop that, and we're going to do this. Since I did this product, I don't need the voice because I know the product. This is the GCOM Mini PC. 
Now this mini PC actually packs quite a lot because it is an Intel 12th Gen i5 12450H NUC 12 mini computer. This mini computer does of course multi cores and 12 threads. That's right, eight cores, 12 threads. Inside here, you're gonna get 16 gigabytes of SODIMM DDR4, which actually can be swapped out with SODIMM RAM if you wanted. Now it does have to be DDR4 and cannot exceed I believe it's 32 or 64 gigabytes on this one. Now it does have one M.2 SSD built in, which is actually a Gen 4 SSD that's 512 gigabytes, but can be swapped out to two terabytes as well. Now the cool part is, is there's another slot inside this mini PC that will allow for a second M.2. On top of that, when you pull the back tray off, you can actually add a 2.5 SSD size as well. On top of that, two terabytes. Now with this, Wi-Fi 6E connectability does have Windows 11 Pro built in. Uh, Bluetooth 5.2 for that connectability that you would expect from most uh, computers and laptops nowadays. Now with this, you can actually play 8K at 60 Hertz if you want. Now with that though, you guys can do it with, with, through the two USB-C ports or the two HDMI ports. That's up to you. Now with it, you also get an RJ45 gigabit port. You also get two USB-A ports and HDMI connections and of course the other side, vice versa. On the front, you get a 3.5 millimeter plug. You also get two USB-A ports of connectability. Now with that, of course, you also get a sip of water like me. Oh. Cool. Now you guys are seeing me load up Windows for the first time in this, and that's right, you will have to do that. Once you're loaded up, it's gonna take a little while. You're gonna have to name your PC, you're gonna have to pick a pin number. You're then gonna log into it, and you're gonna have, of course, Windows ready to go. Uh, you guys can add your Microsoft accounts and everything else to that if you want. That's on you and you only. With this, it is, of course, very, very cool and super powerful. This little mini PC does amazing things. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys, for the price point and how small it is, it's actually quite fast and quite agile for a little mini PC. Now, like I said, guys, you can upgrade, update, and change out, add SSDs, do all the cool stuff that you want. You can even video game off of this or power it off a Jackery power station. I have done it. I actually had fun doing it. Now it is, of course, like I said, a dual channel SODIMM of DDR4 at 16 gigabytes. Uh, it is, of course, like I said, expandable up to 32 or 64, but it is only two sticks of expandability. So, great little piece. Um, I have a little... uh, I'm sure you do, buddy. I'm sure you do. Now, like I said, eight cores, 12 threads, about 100, uh, about 12 megabyte of cache, up to 4.4... I think it's 4.4 gigahertz on that CPU. Uh, it, it does have, of course, that built-in Intel graphics card with this on hand. Now, that's just up to you. What's up, Shopper? How you doing, buddy? Now, I'm going to say a few things, though, with this, guys. Yes, it does have Wi-Fi 6E. Now, Wi-Fi 6E is going to allow about 3,600 megabytes of transfer rate through that connection connectability. It does have Bluetooth 5.2, but I say connect it up through a wire and you don't have to worry. Uh, I'm doing all right, I think. I will let you know as the week goes on when I keep losing my mind. A uh, very, very cool little mini PC at a great price point. <laughs> It's still really early. I'm kind of scatterbrained this week. Oh, what do we got next? I believe it's going to be the Real Link security system that I did a while back for you. I'm going to let the video play for this one. James here, and inside this box is a five piece kit for your protection. That's right. This is the Real Link 12 megapixel wired security camera system. Now, this five piece kit is technically four cameras and of course, the NVR or the recording device, which hey, is also your course. viewing device with this. Now, you do get four of the cameras. Each camera is a 12 megapixel UHD power over Ethernet style device. They now, you like also you get, talk. of course, the... That's action. right, guys. Power over Ethernet. You get four cameras. The NV, uh, NVR system, which is going to be like your hard drive 
uh, built-in computer system, right? And that's where you're going to access all of the videos with this. Now, since it is a RJ45 style connection, which is your power over Ethernet, you can connect up multiples of these and not have to worry about it. Now, you do get an HDMI cable. Of course, you also get a keyboard and mouse with this so you can connect it up and scroll through the interface. Now, what I'm going to talk about, though, comes with all the hardware to connect it up. The cabling for the RJ45s are small. They are not going to be large enough for a lot of you. You will actually have to have longer cables to use this device. Just the way it is. Now, of course, with the connectability, you have a good little camera system that's going to actually do well at 12 megapixels of usability. Does do, of course, night vision and daylight vision. Also has spotlights built in. So if you guys want to turn the spotlights on, you can do that. Two-way audio, eight channel in VR. Now, the eight channel in VR does have a built in two terabyte hard drive for you. Now, with that being said, since it is an NVR, of course, with eight channels that you get four cameras, you can add four more cameras. Maybe you have the 360 camera or maybe you guys want to add a doorbell camera or, you know, so on and so on. What I will tell you is this is like a $6.99 price tag, but there's a $140 clippable coupon as well with that. It's a great, great. Uh oh. I apologize, don't know where that yawn came from, but it is a great piece of technology that's going to work great for a lot of you. Now, the night vision actually does decently well. Uh, what? What was that, Sheila? This is absolutely ultra and rides with me always. I I'm confused. What are we talking about? Please tell me. Oh, allergies are starting to stop me. I don't have that. We haven't moved on to that. You're jumping the gun, lady. <laughs> You're moving on too fast. I can't keep up, Captain. Um, what is going on? Hold on, guys. My camera just shut down. One second, everybody. All right, uh, the power went off on my camera. I do apologize for that. Hopefully it's not overheating. It is definitely warm in my apartment. Guys, Real Link wired security system is actually cool because you don't have to worry about the wireless interference. People jump in on the system and checking it out. It's all wired. It's recorded local, but you can do the app and connect into the app with that. The app is going to allow you to have push notifications off of this as well. It's also going to allow you to talk to maybe your uh, package delivery person. I know Sheila really needs that so she can talk to people because, well, she gets a lot of packages and I feel that she doesn't talk to her delivery drivers enough. <laughs> uh, the spotlight, guys, you can adjust the uh, brightness quite well. Do you? You only, you only tell them thank you. You don't give them glasses of water. You don't give them, uh, like, candy um, and all the other cool stuff. Come on. Come on. We want candy, lady. Candy. <laughs> Did I buy my... I, I buy my mailman uh, gift cards every so often. Just because he's got to get bored coming to my door. Guys, that was the real link system, about $700 price tag, $140 off. Great little piece for you. Now, since Sheila was jumping the gun so much, we're going to show you guys the Fantec X9 Ultra, Ultra Portable Tire Inflator. Nifty Gadget is the Fantec X9 Ultra Portable Tire Inflator for pickup trucks, and it has a 3-in-1 air pump, power station, flashlight, and it's a six time faster inflator. It's, it's just absolutely wonderful. You get diff five different uh, memory settings. You can set your tire pressure and there are charger ports and I'll charge my phone. So the six time faster, 18 and a half volt cordless. Guys, 18 and a half volts is gonna allow you to pump up your tire rather quick. Now what I'm gonna tell you is the three in one. It's a 92.5 watt hour power station on top of that. 
Now with this though, you guys can do all the way up to about 33 inch tires, uh, anywhere from 30 to 35 PSI on one charge. Uh, if you really want to, you can go zero to 35 on a single charge as well. It's actually quite nice. Now, a nice large digital display that's going to show you guys the battery limit. It's also going to allow you to go through the actual modes with this. Now, with that being said, you do have multiple modes. You also have an SOS flashlight, a cold light, and a warm light light on the side. Now, four modes, of course, with that. Your modes is going to be like uh, car mode, truck mode, motorcycle mode, and basketball mode. So it does know how to do that. Now, with those modes, of course, guys, we're going to say, if you're going from 30 to 35 PSI, you can probably do about 25 cards. If you're doing zero to, of course, uh, full, you're not going to get that many cards. Now, yes, you can go over the 30, uh, 30 uh, PSI or vice versa with this system. So you don't have to worry about it. You're good to go. Fantech, of course, makes a great, great product that's going to do well for you if you need. Now, I realize that my hat is sitting way off tonight. It's like really, really bad today. Uh, what do we got next? I think ESR iPad 12 inch screen protector for writing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We do. So James, You're drawing up a storm with your stylus pin, but you want to protect your iPad. Well, what do you grab? You grab the ESR magnetic drawing protection screen. Now, this is actually kind of cool because this is going to help protect your screen. I turn my back this. Sneeze now, this is a magnetic style device, so you're going to pop that open. You're going to be greeted with this little plastic sleeve. Now, this means you can put it back in oh, here and protect it later. Now, when you pull it out, of course, you're going to have one piece of technology inside here with this. Now, this, of course, is your magnetic screen. Literally, this is just going to magnetically stick to the front of your iPad. Now, there is, of course, a plastic shield on this, guys, that you'll have to peel off with this to get it to set. You'll literally pull this off and now the magnet is now magnetically stickable to stick to your iPad. Now once you're on there, you can draw on that and you don't have to worry about uh, leaving marks on your actual screen because you have that protector on it as well. This is a cool little piece, of course, from ESR. So if you guys need a magnetic screen protector for your stylus pins on your iPad, and ignore his drooping eyelid. That's right, ignore that drooping eyelid. Guys, ESR, great little magnetic pro. Uh, iPad Pro screen protector, so drawing with, of course, the stylus pen. I like that idea. It's actually a really nice idea. But what's even better is having a power bank from ESR for your iPhones. James, we're taking a look at the kickstand for... Oh, I wished. I wish he was just flirting with me. He's a really cool guy. From ESR. That's right. This is a phone kickstand. All right, let's talk about bank. it, guys. ESR Inside kickstand. This is a 10,000 milliamp power bank. You're also going to be greeted with the four. My phone or my earbuds are actually messing up. That's awesome. Uh, guys, ESR 10,000 milliamp kickstand wireless power bank that's going to work with, of course, your iPhones 11s and up. Uh, actually, your iPhone 11, 12, 13, 14, and Pro. Uh, with that, guys, you if you have a case, make sure it's MagSafe because, well, if you don't, it's not going to work. Just telling you now. Now, with it, you guys can set it portrait or, of course, horizontal. That's up to you as well. Vertical or horizontal. Portrait or landscape. You choose. That's up on you. Now, with it, it's going to allow you to charge your iPhone 14 Pro Max over two times without a problem. Um, I do? Well, why don't you jump on here and do the show? Come on. Come on, Sheila. Get up here and do the show. I can't quit yawning all of a sudden. I apologize, everybody. I don't know where the sneezing, yawning is all coming from. I just am losing it. Uh, guys, ESR Kickstand MagSafe Battery Pack, 10,000 milliamp, perfectly well done at a good price point. Uh, check that out. Now we're going to move over to, I believe, the Vivor Thermal Imager, probably in the Kata video.
Hey everyone, I may the force be with you. Nikita with Dragon Blogger here hey, to show you see? the Vivor thermal imaging camera. Now, this is caffeine. a really awesome thermal imaging camera with impressive specification that hey, shit, bro, man. Thanks for cutting work, edge buddy. technology and user friendly features. I really like the fact that it comes with all of the amenities that you need, such as the carrying case, and it even comes with a 16 gigabyte micro SD card that you can use with it. Now, I, this is me just taking it out and just putting it on my dog, and it's really cool to see the color pattern that it uses to describe the temperatures in the area. Now, you do have you get some gum. different color palette settings the rainbow iron black hot and white hot now this is just me using it in my computer room and as you can see my computer is generating a lot of heat you could also see there that the bottoms of the monitors were generating a bunch of heat compared to the top and what i love is that the camera automatically has like a, a red cross point where the temperature is highest and a green cross point where the temperature is lowest so you can kind of always gather where your range is now here i try to take a picture of it but as you can see it says no sd card so let's just go ahead and pop in the sd card that you can see there's a little flap at the top and all you have to do is press it in it clicks into place and you just slide the cap on top now when you want to take it off all you have to do is press it down again and it springs up and since i'm right here next to a projector might as well check the heat on this and so as you can see it has a a very hot spot right there and it tells you um the max temperature and the minimum temperature in celsius now you can change it to fahrenheit if you want to but i just like using now with this guys you can actually do what's called a uh, leak detection you can actually change it so you can actually see if there's a water leak in your walls, which is kind of cool. Now, the cool part is, is to actually test how the temperatures are passing through your walls to see if you have enough insulation in your walls or where the air leaks are coming from. Now, right there, you guys are seeing the residual kitty paw prints, which is actually kind of cool that you can see the residual heat. Now, you guys can also do, let's say, testing of engines. You guys could also do everything. Uh, yes, yeah, you can use it on a concrete floor. Uh, why, why, what do you mean? Yes, yes. It has leak detection for water. Uh, what it, the, that mode is actually going to change the colorations of this. So you're only going to see, let's say, like, uh, one color, and then you're going to see, like, a dark blue or a black symbol that's going to, like, float. Uh, so yes, you do have the multi-modes for this. Oh, most definitely. Uh, no, hey, no problem, man. It's actually a good deal. It's a cool little piece. So right there, Vivor. Vivor, thermal imaging camera. Uh, that screen is, of course, 240 by 180. It's an IR resolution, which is like an infrared style uh, device. So nice little piece. Um... Every homeowner should have one. I actually have one for my subs, uh, but I left them up at the shop and have yet to go pick it up. <sighs> Owner even? Owner even? You mean every homeowner should have one. Gotcha. I think everybody personally should just have one. Hey, the guy? EXA Telcom environmental noise canceling headset. Exa. Now, what's great about this EXA Telcom model H1 headset is that it only features one cup, okay, that produces audio, and the other uh, side just has like a nice soft band that touches the other side of your head. And when I say the other side of your head, I mean that, that because the model H1 is bi directional, so you can wear it on the right side if you want. Uh, or just as easily you can take it off and wear it on the left side now what's cool about that bi-directional ability is that the microphone features 270 degrees of rotation what's great about the exit telecom h1 is that it does have an algorithm built into the microphone that allows you to deliver a clear call to the person that you're speaking with by reducing audio noise around you that's really cool and the environmental noise canceling um, comes in by having a nice padding that goes around your ear that allows you to receive a clear call while still being well aware of your spatial surroundings with your open ear this is the exa telcom environmental noise canceling headset model h1 now, this is a single-sided style device with a microphone built in. It's going to give you guys a nice 99-foot-plus-foot range with this. Uh, James, hello from James. 
Uh, with that, it's a great little piece. It's going to work well. The USB hub uh, connection is going to give you a nice little connection. It's going to have a nice battery life. Since it is, of course, a single-sided uh, mic or single-sided headphone, the battery is actually going to last longer than other style headsets in the same market, which is kind of cool. Uh, Exa did a great job with this one, of course, but maybe you guys want the Exa open ear conduction style as well. Now, with that, of course, we're going to move over to that video right here. It's going to be a mini video. We're taking a look at, of course. We don't need to talk to that guy because this is the S30s. Now, the S30s is a telecom style open ear conduction with a microphone. These are amazingly well done products with amazing battery life. That's right. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, it does have a hard shell carrying case. Uh, that's going to allow you to carry it around. It's also got a circle hook. That circle hook is going to allow you to clip it to your backpack or other devices. So you can actually use it that way as well. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. There's some weird beeping going on and I know what it is, uh, but it's kind of funny. This thing is actually beeping inside, so I left it powered on. <laughs> That's exactly what was happening, guys. That's pretty funny. Let's turn it off. Now, with this, these are actually quite, quite phenomenal for a headset or open ear conduction style headset. The, uh, says, let me, yeah, yeah, something like that. The sound quality is phenomenally well done, but the microphone is also just beautifully well set up for this headset. I love these open ear styles. This is a great option so you guys can still hear everything around you at that time of usage. Now, the battery life is just as great. I mean, you're going to have a bunch of battery life in the case alone, but you have a decent battery life on the actual earbuds as well on top of that. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, you're probably wondering what the battery life is. About up to about 70 hours. Now, there's Bluetooth 5.3 connectability with that, of course, on hand. Now, I'm going to tell you guys, about nine hours of talk time, 16 hours of listening to just music off the earbuds itself. You're then going to have 70 hours plus with the base. So you're going to have a lot of time. But remember, guys, when it goes dead, you have to put it on the base and you're going to have to recharge it. It's just one of those things. That's the way it works and that's the way it's going to go. Now with it, of course, the Exa or Exa, Exa S30s, uh, fundamentally very amazing price or product. It's the price that might scare a few of you guys, about $169 for the set. There's a $20 clippable coupon. Uh, just a great little product that's going to do well. And, it, of course, it has all of the technologies that you would come to expect for this, including 12, uh, 16.2 millimeter dynamic drivers uh, with their what's called tube base technology to produce that base that you would want in a headset. It's a great, great phenomenal product. What do you guys think? Uh huh. What do you guys think? Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> what do we got up next? I believe we still have EXA products. I believe it's going to be the Transformer version or the Cyberpunk. Uh, I got to make sure if I remember correctly which one this is. Possibly. Yep, Cyberpunk. All right, so it's the Cyberpunk innovation for the gamers. This is, of course, a wired connection. That's right, wired connection with 50 millimeter drivers and 7.1 surround sound testing. Hey, we're taking a dive into, of course, the EXA headset. These are the E900 Pros. That's right, guys. The E900 Pros. Now, it comes in two My colorways. camera keeps dying. Uh, actually, I think three oh. colorways. I have two of these. I have these beautiful yellow ones, and of course, I have this carrying case with another set. Now, this other set, of course, is going to be that Arctic white on colorway, here. which is actually quite cool. Now, the best part is guys, these can run in a multitude of ways. First and foremost, 3.5 to 3.5 connection. And they do give you that cabling connection, just in case you guys need that, of course, adapter, dual style. But they also give you a single style with 3.5 to USB-C cable as well. Now, they also give you the USB-C to USB uh, 3.0 cable to connect up to the PC. And that's going to give you guys this, of course, lighting that can actually be shut off. So if I don't want that RGB on, I can shut that off. Now, the cool part is, is I can actually...
Now with the microphone mute does have, of course, that surround sound that you expect with 7.1. Fully compatible with your Nintendo Switches, laptops, tablets, and vice versa. 3.5 and USB connection. Now, detachable microphone. If you don't want the microphone on, take it off. That microphone does have built-in noise canceling that works really, really well. That whole video was being recorded from that microphone. Now, it does come in multiple multitude of colors from the cyberpunk version, of course, to uh, black and red, to white, and to wireless as well on top of that. Uh, great little piece, amazing sound quality. The 7.1 really, really stands out on this product. And I love that about it because when they tell you, hey, we got a 7.1 surround style, uh, you're like, sure you do. Well, this one works out definitely well. Uh, it's a cool one. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Look, of course, this is guy. the cyberpunk version right right here, the cyberpunk style version. And you got that Arctic white. So perfectly well set. 50 millimeter drivers, of course, set up for you. The Eeksa 900 Pro. That is the Eeksa 900 Pro. A beautiful little piece for you. Now, we have the Exa up next, the Exa Star Engine S. Now, the Exa Star Engine S is actually S. phenomenally well done. Another headset cool that one. does have, of course, a detachable microphone and, of course, this very beautiful banding. Now, it does have nice, thick cushions that will actually encapsulate your ears very, very well and allow you to wear these for a long period of time. The microphone does really, really well for chatting, of course, blocking out certain noises. It's perfectly well balanced and perfect for that long gaming session or just chatting. Now, the one thing that I do notice is this is actually a 3.5 connection, so you do need a 3.5 style connection to use this device. If you need a double 3.5, it does come up with that adapter, of course, as well. Now, it has 50 millimeter drivers that are, of course, 7.1 surround sound style or dynamic style with that. It's going to allow you to immerse yourself inside that. Now, I did do multiple tests of that to see how well it worked, and it does work very, very well. Yeah, it does have a microphone mute button and, of course, a volume scroll as well with this. Now, this is a nice cutting edge style of design. It does come with, of course, their beautiful little hot, fabric man. bag, of course, with their Ixa logo, of course, right there to carry it around. This is My a good option actually now. Running hot. Very compatible with your PC, your PS4s, your Switches, and everything else that has a 3.5 connection. So if you guys need a headset with the... Now again, guys, very comfy headset, great sound quality, detachable microphone. Uh, this is a permanent cable style device, so do know that. But actually, it's a price point product. Uh, like $50, it's an amazing little headset. All of those uh, EXA products are well, well done. I love EXA products i really do exa is an amazing product that just rocks my socks every time i test one out so if you guys need exa right there exa now i believe we have a little portable power station this is going to be like 150 watt uh or peak at 300 watts now this is a product i did not cover power packed little power station it's a 150 watt 300 watts it has 146 watt uh, i cannot get it to switch over to video generator with me. flashlight all right we are having some you weird weird issues USB with this ports, tonight. uh one usb-c when you usb-c fast charge the power buttons and you have a light sos and alert strobe you can get a solar panel and plug that in, but it's not included. So I'm charging four things here. And I have uh, two power banks, and, or a power bank, a, a camera light, and uh, another phone bank. And there's th uh, also the... Um, we're charging. Now, guys, this is a portable style. It's got multiple connections, multiple USBs, and multiple USB-Cs. I use it to run multiple ports. Now, you guys see right here, she's using one port to run multiple devices. I don't always recommend that because that's why they have many other connections, but you're going to need other cables. Now, it's handheld, carryable, and, of course, uh, the carousel is now not working as well. It's going to be one of these nights tonight. Uh, now, you can add a solar panel to this, which is actually kind of cool. Oh, Sheila beat me to that before I could say that. 
uh, which is actually nice. Now, the solar panel guys, guys, you're going to have to figure that one out for you. Now, it is 100, what's well, technically, it's 146 watt hours or 39,600 milliamp power bank. That means you're going to be able to run small fans, drones, cameras, switches, lights, camera gears, and everything in between. Eight connecting ports. Two AC outlets on one side, of course. Those AC outlets are, of course, going to allow you to do 110 volts at 150 watts of connectability, 300 watts peak. Now, I always say stay around that 150. That way you can get the actual runtime off of it. One QC 3.0 charger, one USB-C. Uh, two DC plugs and two USB-A ports and one LED lighting on the opposite side. It's about 8 inches by, I believe, 4 inches by 6.5 inches and it only weighs under 4 pounds. That means even your kid can carry this. It's going to take you approximately 7, 7.5 hours to fully charge this on a wall plug or a car cigarette lighter. If you have a solar panel, about 6 to 8 hours depending on that solar panel. Now remember, the solar panel is going to use a DC connection, so depending on the actual style of plug, you may need an adapter or not an adapter, uh, which is kind of cool with that. I kind of like that. It's a great little product right there. So if you guys need right there, a portable, portable power station. Now we're going to be moving over to this really, really, really cool dog feeder. That's right. We're going to talk about a dog feeder. Now, the one thing I'm going to tell you is, is this dog feeder actually has a 40% clippable coupon. Uh, you guys can use it as at checkout or claim that coupon by clicking claim deals. Uh, the coupon is, of course, 407A9TVR. Now, this, of course, is the Jeff. I can, I'm, not, I'm going to let somebody else pronounce the name. It's not going to be my night to pronounce this. So we're going to let the video play. We're going to let you guys see it. We're going to have some fun with this, right? May the force be with That's you. Kato video. Kato Dragon Blogger here with my buddy Obi. And we're going to be showing you guys a pet product. This is the rotating slow feeder bowl. So like Obi, uh, we have him on one meal a day. and he, So he doesn't graze. But he eats entirely too fast. He gobbles his bowl up really quick. Um, and gobble, he doesn't gobble, really gobble. have like regurgitation issues or something. But I just want to make sure he's not eating too much, too fast. And, you know, end up getting sick. But he does love to run. He's tired right now. He just got through exercising outside. Uh, so he's ready to just lay down. And his, It's almost his dinner time. So I'm going to basically uh, prep his food. He does a mix of wet and dry food. So I'm probably going to get it mixed up together in his regular. Now the cool part about this one is got, it's got a multi-purpose inserts, right? First and foremost, it's got a spinning cactus plate that can go in. Or it's got a licking pad or a slow food pad. That means you guys are going to be able to allow them to eat at their pace that they really technically should. You're going to have to unwrap it and put it together. It does have, of course, the multi-pieces for that. Uh, it does have, of course, that little smaller suction cup right there. So it can stick to, let's say, your linoleum tile floors and everything else with this. Uh, so with that, of course, guys, you have the multi-connections. Right there is really cool because the cactus spins, which means... When they are licking this device, <clears throat> it will spin. So that means they are not going to eat that food super fast. And I kind of like that. Uh, it, it's an amazing idea to have that, of course, to spin. And you guys are going to see in this video that he's going to show you guys how to add the food, uh, the mixture, how he mixes it for his dog as well, and the placement of it. Uh, and that's where it's going to get cool because he is mixing wet with dry food. He's also adding a little water to soften that food up as well. Now, you don't have to use the cactus, but the cactus is a great idea because it does spin. It will definitely slow your animals down so they actually get that food, have, take a little bit longer. They also get a little bit of exercise while trying to get it and all of the other cool pieces. Now, he's even putting it under it as well on top which is another really, I didn't even think about that with that one. Uh, once you put it on top, of course, you can add that food into there. Now you have that multi-layers, which means, you know, as they're trying to get the ones under it, it will spin. As they get the upper ones, it will still spin as well. Very awesome idea. I love that idea of this. Now, of course, your amount of food that you feed your animals is going to change, of course, from everybody. This does have a capacity size of six and a half cups of food. Now, right there, of course, he's having Obi do it, and you guys can see that how it spins while he's getting food. He's not a, he's not able to get 
like just inhale the food. It's getting the right amount of food at a slow pace. Now, right here, he's like, oh, I'm going to get bored. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to come back. That's a great idea. I love that idea of this. Uh, and animals really should be, uh, you know, uh, should be, of course, have ideas like this and do that. It's going to allow for a balanced nutrition food bowl with this, of course. It's not going to move because of that suction cup sticks to the ground. You don't have to worry about that. Nice, durable materials and, of course, easy to clean. You guys can remove it, wash it, of course, like you would with your regular dog bowls and not have to worry about it. It's just one of those fundamentally smart idea products. Now, with that, you can put the food in the main bowl without any inserts, and they're going to be able to eat as they normally would. You add the yellow one in there, it's going to be about three times slower. You add the cactus on top of it, it's going to be about five times slower. Now, that cactus is just going to be by itself. You add the cactus on top and the yellow insert, you're then going to have 15 times slower uh, which is going to take them that much longer to do this. It's very, very cool with that padding inserts and with both with that. Uh, rotating it is going to make them slow down, and it's going to promote, of course, easier and better eating, uh, eating products with this. It's an amazing idea. I love that idea for your animals. Now, what's even better is, is yes, this is meant for a dog, but you definitely could get something like this for your cats as well. Uh, what I will tell you guys, though, is you guys can claim that deal to save you guys a few bucks for that. Uh, but there is also a 5% clippable coupon on Amazon as well. So not only is there that 40% checkoff that we have for you, there's another 5% in there. Why not save you guys self some money? Huh? Huh? That's a cool idea. I love that idea. Uh, thank you, Nikita, and thank you to the company for sending that to Nikita. Uh, definitely looked like Obi enjoyed that one. Of course, you know, when it comes to food, most animals are going to enjoy anything. Any questions about that, guys? Please ask. Uh, that was a first for me for seeing that, but a great, great product. Why no questions? Oh. What's up, everybody? What's up, guys? All right, let's show. I believe up next is going to be the Pet Libro. Now, the Pet Libro is going to be like, you know, a quiet water fountain for the cats or dogs. It's not going to be for large, large dogs. I'm just throwing it out there. A large dog is not going to drink out of this because they're going to drink that water so quick. It's not going to work. Now, cats. Cats really love a fresh water. Uh, if you guys have never seen a cat drink out of a faucet, then you're missing a lot. Welcome back. Now, with this, guys, you do have to put it together. It's going to take you a couple minutes to put it up, but not a problem. It has a filtration system that is going to allow you to filter the water and keep all of the tidbits that may be stuck in their Fu Manchu uh, in the water, so it's going to filter it out. What's even better is, is cats and animals love uh, rotating water. So they love a water source that is always circling or recycling itself. That means it's clean. It's moving. It's a moving part. It's even fresher for them. Uh, if you ever notice, cats do not like real stale, stale water. They are finicky. Um, I knew all the cats I've had have been that way. Even my dogs were that way. Um, well, most of my dogs. I had a dog that would drink pretty much anything. But cool idea. Now you are going to have to put it together. Just have a filtration system that you are going to have to set up and set with this. Now on top of that, you're going to have about 2.1 liters of water that can be put in this. It does have a multi-layer uh, filter. It's going to have that non-woven fabric on top. It's going to have that medical stone down there. So it's going to have that ion exchange resin and of course active carbon section. All three of those, of course, work and conjoined with each other. Now, on the bottom where the motor is, is a high-density sponge. Kind of important, but if you're like me, I'm not a fan of, like, the sponges. Sometimes sponges can disintegrate after a while, but it should be do well for you with the high-density one. Now, with this, you can actually work it in one of two ways. 
free falling stream or bubbling fountain. Now, bubbling fountain's pretty cool, but the free falling stream is even better because, well, let's be honest, if you guys like the sound of fish tanks, that's going to give you guys almost like that sound of trickling water. Right here, of course, Daniel's putting it together. Ergonomical design will take, of course, a little bit for that. Pet Libro. The Libros of Pets. Now, when we jump over, guys, there is your filtration system, multi-layer. You will then fill it up with water. And then once you put on this nozzle, it's going to allow it to trickle like a water fountain. You technically could plug this in and power it off pretty much anything, like a little mini power station or your wall plug right there. Cycling water. I like that. Pelibro does a really good job for that one. Now we do have, I believe, the leisure or leisure dog bed. This is gonna be a Justin video, I know. Absolutely loves this new leisure dog bed. It has these puffed out edges, which makes it feel like he can kind of burrow. And as you can see, he's just in heaven. So soft, so plush, nice foam in the middle. He just really, really loves it. This is his new favorite bed for sure. Now, guys, it does come in multi-colors and multi-sizes. So if this is not the size or color that you want for your pet, there are other sizes. Now, it is a nice little stuffed style. As you guys can see right there, Gluten loves that bed, which is kind of cool. Uh, Gluten's getting a little older, so him getting a nice little soft, comfy pad to sleep on is perfectly a-okay. Now, the Ropo dog grooming brush set, it's kind of cool. You guys can use them to brush out the dog hair, or you can use it to shampoo your animals. And that is what Justin's going to show you guys up next. What's up, Chucky? How are you doing, buddy? Here showcasing this Ropo dog grooming brush. Let's be now, honest, we all just came for the doggo. Brush that you could use to just work through the dog's fur dry and it can pick up clumps of hair and help de-shed the dog but in this case i have very short haired dogs with my boston terriers so i'm using it more as a shampoo brush so it's got these kind of firm rubber bristles that aren't too hard but aren't too soft and it helps work in the shampoo in between the fur really well work it up to a lather and you can see the lines it leaves behind here as it works with the fur so if you're looking for a brush that will help work the little shampoo into in between the fur deeper closer to the skin this works better than your fingers because the bristles are finer and it works into their fur and lathers up the soap really good. You can see how good it lathers up the dog soap right here, the dog shampoo. So, again, this is a two-in-one grooming brush for your dog by Ropo, and it's a good way to clean them and to work the shampoo into a lather into their fur. So right there, guys, great little option. I actually like that. That's actually kind of amazingly well done. Uh, it's one of those really cool pieces that's going to do just what you need as you need for those little puppies. Uh, you guys can definitely use it on a cat, too, if you guys want to risk it. That's on you, though. I am not showering my cat. Of course, I don't have a cat. <laughs> All right, guys, let's move over to the Paw Ballet Cat Carrier. I'm going to say this is probably a Merle video and probably has Merle's daughter in it. But yes, I, can I can already remember. see some pretty rigid yep. framing. Let's get this opened up. Here we can see the casters and the I don't. top. I don't. Let's go ahead and assemble this. I don't have a cat. What do you mean? I don't have no cats. I'm going to go ahead and point out something really interesting about these casters here. Oh. So <laughs> this unique okay, system I know which one you're allows about. for pretty easy assembly and disassembly. Uh, see these grooves no, here? No, no, I don't. And these grooves here? I'm not... Then line up in one way and snap in. And you can then remove them, which makes it great for packing to give yourself, yourself an extra couple of inches for storage. This is great for like airlines or things of that nature where storage is a premium. To mount the bag to the caster, we have these Velcro straps. And they will then just Wrap around the frame, securing the bag to the dolly. All right, so here it is, all assembled, put together. It glides really nicely, a little quietly too. That's smoother than I expected. We have several viewing windows, so your 
beloved pet can now, see out. I'm going to actually cut the sound off, guys. This does have several openings around there to allow the air to breathe through, which is great for the cats. You guys want to have that air to breathe through. Now, you can cover it up to give them a little darkness, but always leave that airflow going. So they do have a little bit of air breathability through that. Now, it's got wheels. So, yes, you can wheel it around you. You don't have to worry about it. This is great for like traveling or all the other uh, ideas on top of this. Now, going to kind of go in here. Multi pockets means you guys can put like their little toys, their foods, or even maybe a foldable water dish or even a water bowl or water bottle to carry the water with. Now, you can load the animal from multi sides, from the front, the sides, whatever you choose. That's on you where you pick that window. And yes, you can open it up from pretty much all four windows, or actually all three windows if I remember right. It might have a fourth. I can't remember. Uh, but you can open all those sides up so you don't have to worry about it. It's got multi-pockets so you can fold, hold a lot of stuff from, like I said, your cat food, your cat water, your water dishes, and of course, uh, maybe their meds if you guys have meds for them or vice versa, stuff like that. We're going to jump forward where you guys can actually see this because this is kind of cool when he gets over here and he has the daughter throw the cats in there. Yes. Now, the cats will get in there for her. If he tried, he's out of luck. They would not do that for him. I'm just saying it. She's going to pick up that little kitty. She's going to stuff the little kitty in the little carrying bag, right? She, look at that. That's simple. She's going to zip it up. She's going to take it for a roll. I like it. It's really, really cool. I like the cat carrier thing. It's a great idea. Uh, guys, bear with me. Uh, so right there, guys. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome little carrier. Take it on a stroll. Let it roll. Take it on a stroll and let it roll, right? Now with it, of course, we're going to show you guys the Chonker Interactive Ragdoll Cat. Now, I did not pull this out to show it to you live tonight, but we're going to show you guys the video while I talk about it. The cat this is a Sheila video, wants though. wants to be your friend. There's no ah, Sheila. So, so loving. Purrs and meows. Don't you want to love Chonker? What a great support. I had to do it to you. We'll be there. Now, guys, what I'm going to tell you is, is it actually does look really lifelike once you brush out that fur uh, and you fluff it up. It's kind of cool. This has got its place for teaching the kids uh, about animals or even the elderly. Maybe you got an elderly person that doesn't have the capacity to take care of a live animal, but you want them to have the option of maybe having it and they think it's real. And I've actually seen that in use in like uh, in some old folks' homes and stuff where they've done that for, you know, certain patients, which is kind of cool to have that idea. Now, with it, you can turn the volume up and down. You can actually turn the uh, voice activation on or off where it will react to your voice. Now, it is, of course, touch sensitive. So when you pet it, it will start purring or uh, purring or meowing, depending on the actual style of this. Uh, this, of course, is the ragdoll style, but there is another a couple other versions. I believe they even have like dogs and stuff like that as well. So it's a great idea. Awesome little idea. I love this product. It's fundamentally very, very cool. Uh, just one of them things. If you guys need something like that, right there, Chonker. I like the Chonker. Chonker's cool. Or maybe you guys need the U Green Robo plug charger. You want a robot, but you just don't have the space for that robot. Well, hey, I got you covered. This is actually the U Green R6 65 watt USB C Nexoid 3 port robot. Now, this is a beautiful little piece inside this package. You're going to get this little robot. That's right. This little robot. Now, he does have some cute little feet and, of course, has this nice little headband all the way around. Now, this is, of course, a multi-port connection, so you have that USB-A and two USB-C ports. It is a 65-watt port, but how do you video. plug it in and use it? Well, the cool part is, is the feet come off, and there is your wall plug. Now, to do this, you literally just... Now, guys, 65 watts through a single USB-C port. It does have three plugs, though. If you use more than one port, you are going to divide that power up. Now, with this, 
When you plug it in, it's going to light up that screen on the front and it's going to have three different faces or style of faces. The depending is standby, the other is uh, charging, and the other one is, of course, full charge. I like this little piece. The legs are magnetic. So you do have the magnetic legs. Those legs are actually going to be kind of cool. You can stick them to like your laptop front or whatever you want or just have it. Now, I will tell you, though, the legs are not strong enough to hold the whole plug when it is on the device. I tried. I couldn't get it to stick to a lot of stuff. But the legs by itself will definitely stick so you don't lose the legs. Plug it into your two-prong wall plug and you're up and going. If you use the single USB-C port, 65 watts. If you use the two ports, one's going to be 45 watts and then so on. Three ports, divides, divides, divides. That's the way this works. It's a great little piece. And the Taurus does have their GAN technology. So it is, of course, safe and chargeable. So you don't have to worry about it. It's not going to ruin your device. So you're good to go. Now with that, we're going to move over. I believe we're going to talk about a RoboVac. Probably the X10 Pro Omni RoboVac. Yes, that is actually what we're going to. The X10 RoboVac. The X10 Pro oh, look at Omni Sheila, Robot yet again. Vacuum is exceptional in its hey, class. Hey, Sheila, you're always on here. This What's is up the vacuum that? unit. You've, over, you've overstepped. This is all in one you're station. Slow down, lady. You slow get 8,000 Pascal down. pressure suction with two mops and 12 mil millimeter auto lift and su surface detection. Is it? So there sure? are the, the mops and it has an auto detailing roller brush that rotates in reverse and pro tangle comb flips down to loosen and remove hair. There is a scatter brush there too. And the two mop heads, you never have to worry about washing them because they uh, go into the unit to be washed. And the tires are very grippy. And you see inside here is where the mops get washed and the tank auto fills. This is the fresh water tank and the wastewater tank. And this is where the debris is kept in oh. this bag. You say that, and this but is I think the you wash need cycle, and it's washing uh, it, to a know, point. Rid of I'm the just gonna say it now. Yes, it can determine it to a point. If you have a and thick, it doesn't get very thick loud carpet, until it actually it's gonna dry. evacuates the dust it. from the filters. I know better. So here, there's not one perfect one that can do that it, thick shed. It's actually mopping, and then when it gets to the carpet, it will stop, and it will just vacuum. So the um, dust bin is a 2.5 liter bag and now with this guys in the map it's going to use that lidar system to map out your house the cool part is, is you can map out rooms and separate the rooms for different vacuuming mopping styles maybe one room is all tile the next is carpet you set that up there in zones and you don't have to worry about it not switching to the point you want i kind of like that Inside the app also is going to allow you to connect up charging times. Uh, it's also going to allow you to do uh, cleaning times. It's also going to allow you to do, let's say, no-go zones. If you guys want to do a no-go zone, I, I, I just, it's a great idea. Now, you can do home room zones. Now, the one thing I will tell you, if you're doing zones, you're going to have to carry this upstairs. It's not going to climb stairs for you. I'm sorry. Just sorry, guys. Doesn't yeah, it won't eat cords. It won't even jump off a cliff or a, a counter. If you put it up on a counter, it will stop before it gets all the way to the edge of a counter, which is actually kind of cool. So don't be lazy when you have to carry it upstairs. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, Govi, Govi tea kettle. Hey everyone, I may the force be with you. Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you a, another Govi Life product. This is their electric kettle. First off, the design of it is very sleek. I love the black aesthetic. It matches some of the other black and silver decor 
that we have some of the appliances and stuff and it just it looks really nice it has a couple of buttons here that I'll show you how they function and it's just a very simple design all you have to do is you know put the kettle on here I already got some water in there as you can see like, close well, it and then go ahead and hit the on see. button to turn it on it'll show you the current temperature of the water I accidentally turned it on for a little bit um, before I started recording and so it, it's, it's a little hot already go. but it took absolutely no time to get okay. to this 130 degrees now this is the temperature that's going to be set at 212 degrees Fahrenheit is going to be the boiling point and as you can see it already started I didn't even hit a button you can hear the sound of it um, but you can oh, also I'm use the plus the minus to point. adjust the point that what you want to get it to 212 is the max you also have boiling right. point what he's not telling you guys is as well it's govy so it works with an app <laughs> it's govy it works with an app that's where i'm going with this guys govy works with an app uh pick out your hot temperature maybe you guys want a lukewarm or maybe you guys want a super boiling hot that's on you allow it to go it does have a filtration system as it pours out the spout which is kind of cool maybe you guys throw your tea in there uh, and you want it to like kind of clean out uh and not take it all and i kind of like that with that it's a great little ice option with this now of course you got the multi modes you can actually manually set it yourself or turn it on and off and have that nice little warm water uh, another little cool idea, uh, cool idea is guys during winter having nice hot cocoa you could do that with this or maybe you guys want an osmosis system the pure oxygen well, P. this is of course the pure oxygen air purifier now the pure oxygen air purifier is actually a device i'm using right behind me it's still back there it's still in use now this is going to do 1650 square feet with a smart app control yeah heard that right uh hello hello the official how are you doing uh guys on the top you have power you have three fan speeds or automatic where it's going to change itself you also have sleep mode you also have timer if you guys want to do the timer there's also a child safety lock, but let's be honest, if a child is up there pressing buttons, they're going to hold down that child safety lock long enough that they're going to turn the buttons back on. I'm just saying it. Most of you are like, no, they won't. Yes, they will. Come on. You guys got to know kids. Now, in the app, like I said, the app is fully controllable, so you don't have to worry about it, but it has a multi-layer design for the HEPA filter. The HEPA filter does come out, and it, of course, is nice, large, and thick. This thing works great. Now, the particulates, of course, are on 0.2 particulates, and it will read through that sensor very fast, very quick. I know when I'm cooking on high temperature, like steaks and stuff, it will start picking it up really, really quickly so it tells you guys what's in the air. This is a cool little piece, awesome little option if you guys need something like that. Now with that, I'm going to show you guys the next little video. This is from Geek Chef. Geek Chef Espresso Machine. And I'm going to step aside one quick second, guys. This is the Geek Be Chef right, right back. Espresso Machine. You can make cappuccino, latte, and you can use the ESE pod filter. And it has a milk frother. So here my son is making, uh, he's ground up the coffee to the right uh, size and he's pressing it into the the receptacle that goes and here we're fitting it in to the pressure and ready to go i do Just apologize i had center button sneeze really really bad go. and it's counting down it's a sheila video Just just making a one shot. Oh, it, so it's a, it's an espresso machine, it's, not a it's coffee. Uh, coming out, espresso. and we're prepping for the milk frothing. Connoisseur. Your son a is a connoisseur. That's all good things. What type do. of dinosaur is that? And we just have there. <laughs> One hundred. What type of dinosaur degrees. is a connoisseur? And we'll add a little sugar. So some of the specs on this are I've got, I don't drink coffee. Steel machine. I do not drink it coffee has a 20 whatsoever. Bar high quality extraction with the high pressure pump. I don't drink and a lot of caffeine. The, the most ESL caffeine I get is probably Mountain Dew from time to time. Stable steam system frothing for milk. It's uh it's very precision and 
that elevates your hey, you're making a mess over there lady. i saw it so there was a mess everywhere you have precise Look, it's everywhere. control temperature and control time so you can pinpoint oh, your specific special cough let's froth exactly up the milk how you like it um without burning the beans and now with this guys you can do a single shot double shot that's up to you uh, you can froth up the milk on the side. You guys can press it in. It's got a nice little water tank on the back that's going to hold a good amount of water. Uh, but I'm going to be honest, guys. It's just one of them things. Uh, watch the grill video. No, I don't want to. That's it. We're not watching nothing more that you're telling me to watch. Gamer Grandma is demanding I watch other videos. And I don't want to. Uh, guys, great little piece right there. So if you guys need... That's an awesome little option. Now let's move on. Oh, Connie, uh, commercial burr coffee grinder. That is a heck of a word. This is the fellow Opus burr grinder for video. coffee. And it's for espresso. And you have the 41 settings and the 40, perfectly what? shaped cup. For like the who needs 41 settings that fits in the top just grind my coffee and let's call it good and uh, so 41 settings of the grind is what I'm, I'm, so I'm taking from this this is the burger grinder the line with now with this guys you can grind it to the thickness or the type of grind you want maybe you want it in the cappuccino grind that's up to you maybe you want a thicker grind that's the way it works you guys will slide that dial, pick it up, and choose where you need it to go. And that's kind of cool. Now, it's a grinder. That's that's pretty much all this does. So you do need to have the full grounds uh, to do this. You're going to tap it around. You're going to pull it out. You can put it in like an espresso machine. You can put it in, let's say, your coffee. Uh, you can put it just straight into your cup if you really want to drink or grounds. That's on you. That's not my type of thing. Now, with it, of course, guys, just set it up, get it in there, and start going. I don't recommend, you know, just dumping it everywhere. That's just scary because have you seen the price of coffee? Especially if you go to Starbucks. <laughs> That's a cool little grinder. I like that. Now, I'm going to tell you, though, coffee grinders can do more than just grinding coffee. You can grind spices with it. That's right. You can grind spices espresso beans you guys can grind um let's say black pepper if you guys really wanted to uh cloves in this it will grind all of those devices but it's permanently meant for like you know just coffee but you have the options to do spices as well which is a great idea especially if you need to do that i definitely could use a lot like that you don't want to mix in the burger what well, you can clean it out don't worry about that Oh, just throw the pepper in there and then add in the coffee and don't worry about it. You do know a dash of pepper in your coffee actually kicks up the taste. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, let's show you guys this another shield 23 video. large capacity hot warmer. Guys, this is a 23 liter large capacity hot warmer, guys. This is meant for warming your rags or towels. Or even if you really wanted to, your pajamas. Just saying. Uh, this would be good in like your little home spa or vice versa. Maybe you guys have, let's say, a hair business, like a barbershop. And you like to give somebody a, like, a hot towel on their face before you give them a shave. This will allow you to do that. You adjust and set up the UV section to actually do that. This is cool. Cleaning makeup off, guys, or shaving. Or doing vice versa. You can throw a lot of rags in this. Or you guys could throw in a towel. Or you guys can even throw in, like I said, your nightgown. Or your pajamas. Or your throw blankets. Warm them up like a hospital does. You can do that in this device. It's got a double rack system. But you can pull that rack out if you want to put a larger device in there. That's on you. You can do that. Now you're going to see Sheila grab this and kind of start wiping her face. Uh, what you're not going to see her do is share it with anybody else because, well, she does not like to share her hot towels with anybody. She's just, it's all about herself. I'm going to have my own facial. I get it. I get it. 
I can actually use one of those right now. Oh, man, I would love an ice hot towel. That's a cool little product. I like that idea. I really do like the idea of having a nice warm towel on hand. Uh, maybe you guys are doing a really uh, big dinner party, but you want to make sure that everybody has uh, a nice way to uh, clean themselves. Nothing like a nice little warm rag, not a super hot rag, but a warm rag to wipe off with. That's a great idea also. You guys could definitely do that as well. I uh, definitely would feel good right now. Soda massage. Uh, we're going to talk about, of course, the bed in a bag. Bed in a bag. I'm not sure. That wasn't me. Was not me. We're going to talk about the Cristoli 12-inch memory foam mattress. Now, this 12-inch memory foam mattress does come in, of course, multiple Today we sizes. have the Crystal 10. Uh, we don't need him. We don't need that. Guys, this is, of course, the 12-inch version, but we do have a 10-inch version in multiple sizes. Now, with it, of course, we're going to get into it. It's a multi-layer design. Of course, got twin, full, queen, king, 10-inch, 12-inch, 14-inch. That's up to you. We're showing you guys the 12-inch today. You have that bottom thin supportive layer. You've got that durable pocket springs that are individually wrapped. You then have, of course, a nice nether layer of thin supportive base foam. You then have a comfort support foam. Then you have that egg crate foam. Then you have that cooling gel memory foam layer. And, of course, that breathable knitted cover. And then you, of course, have that dog on top that's just telling you that it's well worth your time. Now, what I will tell you, though, is, guys, let that bed in the box sit out for 24 to 48 hours before using it. I do recommend 48 hours to 72 hours personally, but a lot of people are just going to throw it out there and start sleeping on it like my daughter did. She has another version of this and actually really loves it. I've slept on it many of times since she's uh, not been home, and I'm going to tell you, it's a good bed. Nice, soft, comfy piece at a really great price. It's like 25% off for a queen size mattress, $300. I will tell you though, it is approximately 100 pounds. So if you guys want, you know, have some help carrying it in, that's all I'm going to say. Now, I believe we're going to show you guys the V4 office chair. Uh, Sheila, was this you or Nikita? Uh, that's a better question. You were Nikita. Hello, everyone. Jackie from Dragon Ball. I uh, take it back. It's a Jackie chair. video. No, it is it was neither of you. for lumbar support. If you Jackie. can see how it's the notorious we'll go Jackie. through all the things, but just wanted to show you a brief overview of what it looks like. I just put it all together. Took probably about like 20, 30 minutes. It really, really was quite easy to put together. Um, obviously, you can go up and down, but these also go up which is kind of nice. There is support in here for your back, which is great, especially for those of us who sit for long periods of time, but you can go the usual down and up. Um, very comfortable, very, very comfortable on my lower back. It feels great. Nice little headrest for when and if you need it. Look at it. It does also it. rock a little bit. So if you want to. Now, guys, this is a mesh back, so it's going to allow for breathability. It does, of course, rock, but, you know, you could also lock it in place with that. Now, there is always a weight limit. It does have, of course, adjustable height with that shock, and it has a nice wheels to allow you to roll around. Now, they're not the world's largest wheels, but it is, of course, a plastic base. It's not a full aluminum base like the one I'm sitting on now that can support 500 plus pounds. This is kind of cool. Now, the armrests do move, so if you guys want to move those, you can actually move those upwards and out of the way. I like that idea because sometimes, like, my armrest guys get in the way. Of course, my armrests kind of tip up backwards anyways, which is kind of cool, but they just do different things. Vivor did a good job with this at a great price point. You can't go wrong with that. Definitely check it out. Now, right here, she's adjusting the lumbar support. You can move the lumbar support around to adjust it to your positioning. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. What do you guys think? You guys want one of those from V4? Great little price point, 50% off. 
Now we're going to move over to the Flybird Adjustable this Weight Bench. This Flybird Adjustable Weight Bench pairs perfectly with the Flybird Adjustable Dumbbells. This weight bench supports a 700-pound weight capacity. It has seven back positions, three seat positions, and I'll show you the different locking positions here for the back. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's actually cool, climbs, the adjustable part. Lift weights, etc. It also has two foot pad positions for when you want to use it to actually do sit-ups. But you could see sitting in it, using your fiber adjustable weight, dumbbells, and lifting, it works out real well. So I took my son here to demo it for me. My son decided to try it out to see if it supports his weight with the foot rests, doing some sit-ups with the incline all the way back. And as you can see, it's slightly inclined towards the ground, so he has to bend all the way backwards to where he's not quite flat. He's actually bent inverted towards the ground, and it supports his weight just fine. I, unfortunately, couldn't do sit-ups like my son. He's a lot fitter than I am. You heard him? And, of you course, he it. also demoed the adjustable weights as well while sitting in the... Now, I kind of like this idea because when you're done working out, guys, you can fold it up and put it away. And it does fold up really, really small, which is great. That means you're not taking up your whole room to have a workout equipment. When it breaks down and folds up to, into a nice, thin design, that means you can slide it under your bed and it's put away. Or in the corner or behind a door. It has all of those options. And then when you want to use it again, unfold it back out and work out. It's a really great option from Flybird. Love that idea. Really, really do. Now we're also going to show you guys the nice day rowing machine. Another little cool piece. Hey everyone, Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you the nice day rowing machine for home use. This is a hyper quiet magnetic rower with 16 resistance levels. This is all the pieces and stuff that it comes with. You have all the tools necessary to assemble it. And it actually really did not take that long to assemble. I want to say it took me about 25, 30 minutes by myself. And as you can see, all the parts are super high quality, super easy to use and super easy to set up. Now, once I got it set up, this thing looked absolutely amazing. I love how comfortable the seat is and i absolutely love how big the area for your feet are now you're going to see i love my crocs and i like to work out in my crocs too so the fact that i'm able to use this rowing machine while wearing my crocs makes me absolutely ecstatic ec ecstatic i mean it is fantastic this thing Even is so crocs. easy to use now i didn't have anyone to help me record i didn't have my tripod on me so you're gonna see me kind of now with this guy's magnetic resistance pull and go you have adjustability. You guys can lock your Crocs in there and walk away without your Crocs like he did or grab the Crocs. Digital display is going to keep track of the calories earned and burned. Distance spent, your actual, uh, how fast you did it, and of course, the amount of time it took you to do it. Now, when you're done, you're going to actually undial it, fold it up, and put it away. Now, right here, of course, Nikita has his mom doing the heavy work because, well, let's be honest, it's Nikita. Uh, it's actually a cool idea. I like that. It's a really, really amazing little product right here. Fold it up, put it away, roll it around, set it up, and don't worry about it. Now, do be careful when sliding it up because that seat does slide down. You don't want to have your hand down there and it slide down and pinch your hand. Uh, so do be careful with that. Once it's up there, put the lock or the pin back in there and then wheel it around. You don't want it to come back away while you're doing it. Now, the wheels are not the world's largest wheels, but will get you guys to the position and point that you need with this device. At like 32% off, that's a great deal. Yeah, it is nice, adjustable, perfect set, great options. Great options. Um, I think up next is going to be the Snail X Shiatsu Massaging Cushion, probably a James video. He's Look at the Snail X massaging back. cushion. Now this is for your back and of course your bottom. Now with this you do have this cover that does come down and is washable. This is because if you guys sit on here and use the heating you may sweat. Now it also has a pad for... Or pillow for your head as well I'm with this sure that happened. folds down. Now those are detachable and can come off and be cleaned, uh, which is kind of cool. Underneath, you got the breathable material with four nodular balls that's going to rotate up and down as it goes with this massage. Now on this, you do have a remote control. The remote control is going to, of course, allow you to do full back, upper back, or just lower back. It's also going to allow you to change the variations of the speed of that massage. It will also allow you to do spot massage as well. Then you have massaging. Now the massaging does low, medium, or high, of course, for the base of this with it. Turn the heat on and get that heat going, and you guys will see right there it glows bright red.
before. Now, it does glow red when it's on heat, guys. It has a removable back so you can wash it up. It's got a pocket for the remote. The remote, of course, has a nice length, and it actually could run off of a power supply like I was doing, which is kind of cool. Now, with it, you also have a padded top to put your head up there. Now, the bottom only vibrates. The back has the nodular massaging nodules. That's going to work out. Snail X, guys, great product right there. That is actually something I still have. It is actually put up for the moment being, but I still have that. Now, we're going to move over to the rest cloud. I believe this is going to be the neck piece. So this product yeah. right here. In the kid video. Hey, what happened? So this product right here weird. is my weird, rest funky, cloud funky. neck and shoulder relaxer. It's a cervical traction device. Uh, for TMG pain relief and cervical spine alignment. It's really easy to use and it can relieve neck pain in just 10 minutes. Um, it can be used as an ordinary pillow all night long and normally you'll need about one to three days to adapt to this pillow, but it's made of a dense and soft foam design that provides sturdy, lightweight, and a comfortable base. So I'm going to um, go ahead and take this out and let my girlfriend use it and basically kind of show you how Whoa. it looks and how it works. and. Um, I'll let her tell you how effective it is. So my girlfriend is laying on the ground and she has the oh, neck okay. pillow set up and I'm basically we follow the instructions. The cat's trying to get the instructions. Um, but uh, basically it shows you uh, that you... Guys, you'll lay it down, you put your neck over it and then you position your hands back and that's going to help uh, re alleviate the back pressure of your neck. And it's going to help stretch it out, which is kind of cool. I like the traction piece because it's going to help like stretch your neck out, get those kinks out as you want. It's kind of a cool little idea. Of course, that is the rest cloud piece, guys, for you. Now, for those of you that like to cut your own hair, we're going to talk about the ULG Professional Hair Scissors. These are a six and a half inch version. It's a product I did. Look, it's a James video. Let's get the video playing. Cutting shears. Now this is for cutting your hair, of course. Uh, now guys, these are actually cutting shears that do well. They're nice, sharp, stainless steel style. They're, of course, what I like to call ambidextrous. Uh, usually, guys, do you, you have to do like a left or right hand. Now, she's like, did I do them right? No, probably not because I don't know hair scissors. <laughs> Uh, no, I actually did not hold them correctly. Not at all. Uh, not at all. Look, look, not at all. What are you talking about? What do you mean, ring finger? Huh? You want to repeat that again? I know, it's backwards. Uh, the cool part about these scissors are the blue inserts actually come out. Uh, the blue inserts come out for people with larger fingers which I really do like that idea because sometimes you guys can get scissors and if you guys have fingers like me, they're not going to fit through those holes. So to have that piece come out, it does do that and it will allow you to fit it in there. Uh, nope, no I don't. I use whatever fingers I want to because I don't cut hair. Don't cut hair. Uh, my daughter cuts hair. I don't cut hair. <laughs> sure. If that's if that's what you want to do, ah, uh, here we go. Sheila trying to teach me about hair. Uh, Sheila, it, it, they're hair scissors. They're sharp. I can tell you that they are definitely sharp. Uh, really, really sharp scissors. No. They're you know for the price point, they're really decent shears. I really like those for scissors. Of course, we can talk about the Bruno Marks. You know, the funny thing is, is if you ever seen barber hands where the barbers get the hair implement, uh, stop ears, like implemented into the. Oh, all right, guys, we're going to show you guys the last product, the Bruno Mark shoes. Everyone, and may the force be with you. Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you the Bruno Mark men's air. East uh, and I'm mesh questioning Oxford why you guys can't see it. So let's try and fix that. Here we go. Hey everyone, and may the force be with you. Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you the oh, I've seen Men's it. Air oh, East dude. 2 Mesh Oxford it's Style weird. sneakers. Now these are great for... It's almost like an ingrown hair, but it's style, just but like... Also wear these two from all the hair from so much cutting. ...semi-formal outing because of how they are designed so well. I love the leather backs and like the brown accents that love these shoes marks. have. And the white base just adds another touch. The brown on the lip with the Bruno Mark logo also looks really clean. These shoes are just really awesome. And not only that,
that, but they have a very nice breathable design. It's like a stretchy. AC, hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Move freely, so you can say goodbye to the stuffiness with these shoes. J Lo, the good Oculus evening. Welcome into like, the end of the are show. Really awesome because they have like the stretchy part around the ankle that makes it really easy to kind of slip them on, and then you can pull the tab in the middle to kind of get it like pulled up now these also have some really nice laces that are easy to get tight super easy now guys bruno marx shoes. makes multiple styles of shoes these are not just the only types they make they also have multiple colors and multiple sizes so if you need to pick a different size yes now i actually have multiple pairs of bruno marx and they all fit me really really well they have a nice cushion in the bottom and they do fit wide feet uh and i really do have wide feet so that is definitely one of them things I have to have. Now, right here, you guys can see him doing his little dance and showing them off. But Bruno Marks, guys, are a decently priced pair of shoes that's not going to break your wallet while giving you that look and comfortability of a shoe that you would not expect for that price point. Now, with that, guys, that's actually the last product. But do remember, we showed you guys that really cool dog feeder that does have a 40% clippable coupon. Uh, for you and it's a really cool price point and product for you if you guys have those animals now of course that dog feeder is going to allow those dogs to slowly eat now it is actually clicked in the carousel just in case you guys need it but definitely check that out I mean at 40% off plus I believe there's another 5% on the Amazon page you're saving a good amount of price on that it's already like only $16 on top of that so you can't go wrong with that product now with that, guys, I want to thank everybody for being here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. I have to get off here. I have to clean house. Uh, unfortunately, it's that time of the day that the house needs cleaned. James may have made a mess or three. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys on the next. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening, and we'll see you guys all later.